There's been some controversy and confusion about taking calcium supplements, but now a large study finds that women taking 1,000 milligrams of calcium a day have a 22% lower risk of dying. Now, some previous studies have linked calcium supplements to an increased risk of heart attacks. Dr. Holly Phillips is here with us. Good morning. Good morning. So explain Nora. what this study means. It suggests that we do need calcium, very good for us, can help us live longer. Yeah, very much so. Really, I have to say this is a question that I deal with every single day in practice about calcium, whether we supplement or not. So here's really where we stand. The benefits of getting enough calcium, that, that's just not controversial. It's true. You know, calcium helps to strengthen our bones, preventing life-threatening hip fractures. It lowers our cholesterol. It helps to control our blood pressure. And then we have the information out today that it may, in fact, make us live longer. What is a little controversial is whether or not we need to get calcium from supplements. And there have been risks, heart risks, associated with taking supplements, particularly in men and particularly in people who take a huge dose of supplements. How much calcium do we need? Premenopausal women and men throughout their life need about 1,000 milligrams a day. Postmenopausal women need about 1,200 milligrams a day, uh, in part because after menopause our estrogen levels drop, and in part because we don't absorb calcium as well from the diet as we get older. Where do we get calcium other than milk? Well, you know what? Ideally, we can get calcium from so many sources from just a healthy diet. So if you put it in perspective, milk, you can get 300 milligrams of calcium just from one serving. Orange juice, also around 300 milligrams. If you add in three or four servings of leafy green vegetables, that gets you closer to 1,000. Uh, and then an, a serving of fish or even fruit can get you to where you need to be in a day. In an ideal world, None of us would need a supplement. We would all eat that well. But you need, Realistically, a, you we need don't. a doctor to tell you you need a supplement. Yeah, you know what? The way that I do it in my practice is I really look at it at everyone as an individual, which is how I think we should do it. We look at bone density scores, we look at family history of osteoporosis, and then we look at the big picture of your diet. Mm -hmm. If you're not getting enough, a supplement might be appropriate. I looked this up. Guess which as number four they say top calcium rich foods sardines. I like really, sardines. You do like sardines? Oh, yeah. yeah, absolutely. So they, they are very right. calcium rich, but who wants to eat that every day? <laughs> Dr. Holly Phillips, thank you so much. Sure. And Carol King.